Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today we are going to be playing with some products from Arteza. Arteza actually contacted me and asked me if I would like to try some of their things on my channel for you guys and I said of course yes. So you might remember a few uh, it might be about a year now, um, I tried to do some acrylic paint pouring on canvas. Well, it didn't really go so well. So this time I've actually done my research and I've tested out a few techniques in the meantime about putting it on the internet. <laughs> and we're going to see if I can get some really interesting kind of uh, patterns and pretty things that you can make at home too. If you're interested in these products, I do have links down below this video. Uh, just keep in mind that these are affiliate links as I have just become an affiliate with Arteza. Thank you, Arteza. Um, but you can, you're more than welcome to check them out. And I've also linked an inspirational video that they made on their YouTube channel for some ideas of how to work with these wood slices and the pouring paints together. So without any further ado, I'm going to get into it and show you what's in the boxes and then I'll put this on a time lapse so you can watch me work. So first up, I'll show you the wood slices because these are super colorful and everything. This is the box. You get 45 pre-sanded pine slices with the bark on the outside. There's also on each and every slice, there is a hole in one end and they provide you with twine. So if you would like to hang them as ornaments or, you know, uh, something like that, I mean, the sky's the limit really when it comes to this stuff, uh, you can do so with that little hole in them. So every single one of these slices has a hole like that. So I'm just gonna take a few out of the box, set them off to the side here. I'm going to try to do a bunch of them today because I'm thinking Christmas presents. What do you think? I mean, anything can happen, but I think this would make a great Christmas present. So we've got the slices. Let's look at our paint, shall we? If you look here at the top of the box, they have all of the color names, all of the color numbers. So it's an easy reference guide for what you'd like to work with. And it makes it easy to pick out a palette as well. So if you can tell, they do have a rainbow of color. Uh, they have neon colors and then they have lighter colors, uh, but they also have like titanium white, which is really hard to find sometimes. And I believe, let's just, let's just open it up and look at these colors. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna bring them out because my, it's so bright today. Titanium white. These are ready to pour. We've got Brilliant Red, Fallow Blue, there are two, Ultramarine Brew, Blue, Brew, <laughs> can you tell that Halloween's on the brain? There's Mars Black, lots of beautiful colors, two of Mars Black, a Fallow Green, Mid Yellow, sea green. You're not going to be able to tell all of these colors, but I can tell you now. Let's see. Silver gray, lemon yellow. What have we got? Lavender and what's this one? Vermilion. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Carnation pink and neon pink. I love the neon colors. I definitely want to do something with them. Cerise pink and neon green. Let me keep the pinks together. Neon blue, rose pink. Kind of want to make something that looks like a rose or something. Coral, neon purple, pastel yellow. Ooh, I might need that as well. Silver. So they have metallics in there as well. Very cool. Forest green, gold. I'm going to put those metallic together. We've got bronze and neon yellow, neon orange, and metallic wine red. Ooh. Okay. So now that I know what colors we've got. Oh, and there's another sea green. Are there two sea greens? 
or did I just put that back by accident? Anyway, so we've got lots and lots of color to play with here. I definitely want to use this together. Uh, let's pick a color palette. So we've got, hmm, there's kind of like a rose or a peony going on there. And then if we want to go Christmas, let's see, we've got our greens and we've got our reds and there's metallics as well. So the yellows there. Okay. So I think I've got an idea of what I want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Are you ready? My father's voice, he would tell me to move on. He would say I'll be just fine. Yeah, he would tell me we have time, time to laugh and time to heal. A favorite song is on repeat. Drinking wine until the dawn.
Here is the final look at all of the discs that I made. Those are 45 of them. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed pouring them and making them look somewhat like a geode. Um, it was just fun. Like, I would highly recommend this to anybody, honestly. This was a whole lot of fun. It only took a little while. I feel like these will make excellent presents for friends and it's just a really cool way to like just decorate and have fun and not not think too hard um, if you mess up you can always pour paint on top of that and it's perfectly fine I did that with a few of them and I can't even tell which ones they were I think oh there's a pink like two pink ones that have a little bit of green in them over here um, because I didn't really like the way that these turned out but like all in all this was so so much fun um, my my recommendation is to not overthink it try different styles go have a look at this video from Arteza it'll give you an idea of what different styles of pouring will give you in the end but like the colors are just magnificent. A lot of these here are still really, really wet, but like this one is dry. They're kind of stuck to this, um, to the paper towel. So maybe don't use paper towel. <laughs> maybe just stick to like plastic, like this trash bag that I just cut uh, down the middle and up the side. Um, highly recommend it can't get over it. I'm actually going to go and order another set of these coasters uh, just so I can make more and play because there is still so much paint left over. Thank you so much to Arteza who sent these products to me to review and share with you all. Again, I am now a new affiliate with Arteza, so if you're interested, please check out my links down below. Uh, if you do, just full disclosure, if you do buy something from them, it means I'll get a small commission. Um, but you're more than welcome to go there without the affiliate link as well, whatever you would like to do. But thank you so much for watching and for being here with me. My favorite one is the rainbow. I absolutely love this one. Oh my goodness. 
I want to go and make a dozen more of these. So I'm gonna go online and order some more wood slices. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, Arteza. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all really soon in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye!